Ladies and gentlemen, the show is about to begin. Hello, how are you? I can't hear you and I'm not interested. <laughs> no, I am. I'm not, so back to me. Now, previously in my life, I proved that living alone could be genuine fun. embarrass myself in front of Gary. Yeah, as long as you fill it with good sausage meat. Oh, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And what else? Oh yes, my mother showed me her holiday photos. Round the headland there was another lovely beach. Was the whole island new just? <laughs> oh, that's a good one of your father. <laughs> Stop zooming in! You never recover from something like that. <laughs> Quickly, on with the show. Taste the number four. Maybe you'll enjoy this one. Gratiné de Saint-Jacques. I love having a chef friend. Well, because you appreciate fine food? It's more than it's free food, Gary. Free food! Right, that's it. You clearly don't appreciate my work. I mean, I go to all this effort and all you can say about it is it's free. I've never been more aroused. <laughs> oh, putting. Or oh, they're doing that kissing but not kissing thing. I do or don't. That's a question, Alison. They're lovely. Well, that's a bit much. Oh. Now, Gary, that was delicious. Oh, thank you, Chris. Yes, yeah, a new menu I'm working on. We thought so, didn't we, Mr. Popper Bear? Oh, yes, we did my wet nosed cup. <laughs> Such, Such a, a good chef. Say it at the same time. Say that at the same time. <laughs> 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 Lovely. <that late? laughs> yes, sorry, this is my friend, Miranda. Hello, lovely. <laughs> Puddings? Puddings. 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 My wetness. Stop it. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's a really sweet story. They were just friends at university, and then uh, they said they'd get married if they were still single when they were 40. She was his safety wife. People actually do that. Mm -hmm. They don't look 40. Well, they're not. He uh, took her off to Paris last year and proposed. Do you have a safety wife? <laughs> no. Why are you offering? Yes, please, very much so. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, what age do we set the date at? 55? 55. <laughs> 55. I meant 55. 35? That's next year. You're meant to allow time to meet Mr. White first. No, exactly. Of course, absolutely. Because we don't want this. This would not be ideal. Grim. <laughs> there. Yuckety yuck at you. You make me feel. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Just to be safe, I know it's 21 years hence, but should I book a venue? <laughs> so, 55 is insulting. Well, as I say, it works so you allow time to meet the one. But, uh, you know, if something happens before you're 55, then obviously you don't ignore it. If there's a moment, then clearly the rules are you go to Paris and get engaged. A moment. Deal with this, Miranda. Elegance. I'm busy! I've got to leave early to talk to my builders. Yeah, but I've got news. Anyway, this is a night school prospectus. Yeah, I'm doing a French course, and I'll tell you pourquoi. So we can start to go international sales wise. Right, what two I'm things to say. Firstly, <laughs> secondly, needy high maintenance friend of news, bonjour. <laughs> Gather, please. Right. Gary yeah. has asked me to be his safety wife. Ooh. But he said, obviously, if something happens before then, we wouldn't ignore it. You know, if there was a moment. He's considering there might be a moment between us, Stevie. I've got to create a moment and do some wooing. <laughs> it's harder to say than you imagine that. Wooing. Wooing. Getting away from the point. <laughs> I need to create a romantic, spontaneous moment so Gary sees me in a sexual light. <laughs> sorry, sorry. How is Gary ever going to see you in a... No, no. What I, what I mean is, you're... <laughs> No, you're just not, you're not very, you know, you know, no, what I mean is, you know, you don't have, no, what are you, what, what you're not, I mean, you're not like me, you're, you're just, you're just very British, aren't you? I mean, say sex. Yeah. You know I don't like to say it, I prefer the term shenanigans, sounds nicer. And you're British? Yeah, British in nationality, yeah. And when it comes to the language of love, I'm practically Spanish. You know, just a look in my eye and pheromones are released. <laughs> <laughs> Only me, darling. Oh, hi. hi, Stevie. How are you? Okay, although I just to turn a phrase. Can I leave this with you? Your old diaries, which I have to say make very interesting reading. You read them, of course. Like Anne Frank, but more depressing. <laughs> 
can't we stay at home? No, we've cleared out your old room because we've extended the bathroom and we're fitting a jacuzzi. Right, moustache, the evening news will be out. We're looking at the personals to find you someone, and I don't want your father to start without me. He only circles white people, and I, I've told him when it comes to finding you a husband, we can't afford to be racist. <laughs> We will consider a black man. You can say black, it's fine. You sure it's not? <laughs> oh, well then, I do love a black man. <laughs> Such fun. <laughs> that mouth and word thing's a real middle-class tick. I know. At least she was doing it properly this time. Normally she gets confused and does it the wrong way round. The other day she said, you know those two women next door? Lesbians. <laughs> Exactly. Stevie always underestimates me. I knew I could do romance. <laughs> oh, it's our song. Summer love is happy so fast. I met a girl. I met a guy. He used to be. Summer days drifting away. Two up on a summer night. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. I've got subsidence. Please, can I stay with you? Thanks. <laughs> I've got a Gary plan. Come in. Thank you. Although I was thinking maybe I shouldn't bother. I mean, I don't even know if I want a relationship. Somebody knowing everything about me. I mean, do I really want somebody knowing that sometimes I dress up as the Queen and I record a speech and I watch it back to see what it would be like if I was the Queen? <laughs> do you actually do no. that? <laughs> you can stay, but please don't take over my life. You can't notice me, especially if Gary's here. OK, your plan. Why don't you come with me to my French course, yes? Passionate, sophisticated language, mon chéri. Are you saying I'm unsophisticated? Bottom. <laughs> Bottom. <laughs> Look, a classroom remembering my school days isn't going to help me feel passionate. Apparently, the teacher is cute. Although, if he is, he's mine. <laughs> On. You need a bit of chic to get you in the romantic zone. Okay. I refer you to the last time you attempted something in this field. Hi there. Oh. Hi. So. So. Do you want kids? <laughs> you like schools? Freaking hell. Don't run in the corridor. Put your skirt down. But what is this? Well, this is God's way of telling me not to bother. <laughs> I always could do better from the French teacher. I thought a leather jacket made him cool. Oh, wow, he's lovely. He's a cute style. Oh, it's him. He will be mine. Stevie, that's Mr Clayton, my old French teacher. No way. Way. Really way. No, very much way. <laughs> oh, it's really cringy seeing a teacher after 20 years. It's feelings of fear. Embarrassment. Primarily embarrassment. <laughs> right, I'm going to go before you can see me. <laughs> I'm stuck in the chair. It's not stuck. Bonjour, la classe. Bonjour. Qu'est-ce que c'est, Pax? Pardon, monsieur, uh, je suis dans le wrong room. Miranda. Ce n'est pas me, zut alors. Je suis only with you. Sounded Scottish. It is you. Back for more. French was never really your métier, I seem to remember. No, no, but uh, German has become my bag. Mine... bag. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've done, uh, I've done pretty well with my life, yes. I use the German for my fashion business, so I think you'll find I couldn't do better. <laughs> yeah. If I did better, I'd be God. <laughs> Good evening to you. Do you need help with the chair issue? The chair issue? <laughs> there isn't a chair issue. This is part of my autumn range. Practical fashion. I mean, it looks good. Sure thing. Once or not. But it's practical. You can sit down whenever and wherever you so need to do. This has been one of life's true pleasures. Good evening. Bonsoir. What a thing. Oh, it's I just need to uh, pull myself off. Don't. <laughs> oh, I'm released. God. Ooh, school corridor's freaky. So, why weren't we allowed to run in them, actually? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't believe I thought the evening classes would help me get romantic. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi. Listen, I wanted to say sorry about the whole food thing earlier. And um, to make it up to you, how about a tango class tomorrow night? Oh, I adore tango. Oh, well, you go, Clive. No, the offer wasn't for Clive. I was a regional under 12 champion. Oh, you go top of the class with Clive. I don't want to go top of the class with Clive. My speciality is cape work. Clive should definitely be your partner. I don't want Clive to be my partner! So <laughs> If you don't stop talking about tango, I'm going to strangle you with this tablecloth. <laughs> so, Gary, will you come? What about Clive? No, thanks. I hate tango. I always have. I despise it. It's abhorrent. It's a perversion of all that is good and natural in this world. I hate it. Dirty, dirty, dirty. That's enough. <laughs> so, Gary. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Up for a challenge? <laughs> You are beautiful, no matter what they say, and words can bring me down, yeah. You are beautiful in every single way, so don't you bring me down today. <gasps> oh, it's going to Oh, gosh, I am so sorry, sir. Hey, come on now. Call me Keith. Keith. <laughs> Teachers having first names is always funny. <laughs> I really am very, very sorry. Don't worry. I was just about to have a shower. <laughs> Stevie! I can't believe! I can't believe! Oh, you'll hardly notice me! Oh, I couldn't help it. Took me to a fantastic restaurant. And I tell you, an older man knows foreplay. <laughs> oh, sorry, we got a little bit uh, carried away on the sofa. <laughs> Oh, and on the chair. Oh, Is there anywhere I'm safe? Oh, not there. Oh, God, People have sex. Stop being so middle class about it. Stevie, that was my old French teacher. He'd see me in gym knickers. I don't want someone in my home that see me in gym knickers. I don't want anyone thinking about me in gym knickers. Oh, you disgust me. Please say I'm not seeing him again. But you're always saying you want me to have more fun. Oh, not that much fun. <laughs> Going to open the shop? I blame boarding school entirely for not being able to cope with the sex department. So what is that? Oh, God. We just weren't taught the birds and the bees properly. All we had was a weird video in biology about conception. We saw this heart-shaped swimming pool, in the middle of which was a lilo with a woman lying on it looking erotic. She was the ovum. On the outside were a whole mass of men in speedos and swimming caps. They were the sperm. We heard a starting gun, the sperm dived in, and one of them ended up on the lilo and embraced the woman. The biology teacher then switches it off, right, that's that, that's what? What was there? was no finer details, what was that? One girl in my house, Brashita McCorkadale, real name. She still won't go swimming for fear of getting pregnant. Right, no, I can, I can, I can do this, I can, I can get romantic, I can do it for all boarding school girls up and down the nation. <laughs> I am an erotic ovum. <laughs> Just leaving. Au revoir. Or should I say, ich werde sie bald sehen. Ja. But do better. <laughs> wing, 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 wing. Stevie? Yes. Hi. Do you notice anything different about me? OK, we're going to take a nine, 10 minute break in 19 seconds and then we'll be back for that Miranda Hart from um, episode series one there. So let's repress that link in 10 minutes now. The station for the 21st century today. You're listening to Social Network Radio, live on Facebook and Twitter. 